Today we're going to review part number K2R712DAC. This is the Kodiak disc brake kit with the 13 inch rotor, the 8 on 6.5 inch bolt pattern with the Dacromet finish for 7,000 pound axles. Now these brake assemblies will make it easy to change from an idler axle to a disc brake axle. Basically when you change to disc brakes they'll deliver better performance than drum brakes. They'll give you more consistent stopping even at highway speeds and a dramatically shorter stopping distance. Also, the maintenance costs are a lot lower than for drum brakes because you'll have fewer moving parts to maintain, repair, or replace on the disc brakes. The Dacromet plating on this will provide superior corrosion resistance for freshwater or saltwater use. They do have a 400 to 600 hour salt spray rating on them. The rotors right here are a slip-on cast iron over the hub rotors. You just slide these on over the studs, the wheel studs on your hub. They'll fit right over the idler hub and are held in place by the wheel and the wheel lugs. You can remove them easily for maintenance if needed. There's no need to replace an entire hub and rotor assembly if only the hub or the rotor becomes damaged. Now these rotors do have the vented design as you can see here that'll dissipate the heat quicker. This will help prevent any heat related damage to the rotor. Now the calipers, they are also Dacromat plated. They are self adjusting for smooth equal braking. They are made of a cast iron construction, so they do not flex like any aluminum parts. They do have a low drag design. I pop out the pad there to show you where the piston is. This piston will retract farther back in the caliper for a cooler running brake. It keeps the brakes off the rotor. The stainless steel piston is two and a half inches in diameter, which is about 30% larger than some of the other brands. And because of that, it'll give you more braking torque than the competition. And then the pads right here, they're red parts here. These are a high performance ceramic brake pad that they use. Now the brackets right here, they're a cast iron mounting bracket, which will provide strength and durability. You can see the way they're constructed. They have a nice side support design. That's to ensure that the load is placed on the whole bracket, not just on the bolts. Up at the very top, it has some nice extra embossing for additional thread contact. It gives you a tight, secure mount when you use your caliper guide bolts when you install your calipers to the mounting bracket. And if you notice this bracket is designed for a five bolt brake mounting flange configuration. So this you do need to have the five bolt brake flange on your axle. If you don't we do sell a weld on flange that we do sell separately on our website. Now this kit does include two full brake assemblies. The two Dacromat plated cast iron rotors. The two Dacromat plated cast iron calipers the two Dacromat plated caliper mounting brackets, and then the four stainless steel caliper mounting bolts. Now one thing I do want to note is make sure when you do change over to disc brakes, now disc brakes do require a higher line pressure, about 1500 PSI, when compared to your standard drum brakes. So you want to make sure on your trailer to achieve that higher pressure, you want to have a brake actuator that will have a minimum 1500 PSI rating on it. Again, a few specs on this. These this kit is designed to fit an axle capacity of 7,000 pounds with the number 42 spindle. Does use a wheel size of 16 inches and larger. Again, the bolt pattern is 8 on 6.5 inches. This does use the wheel lug size of a half inch. The rotor diameter itself is 13 inches. And again, just to mention on the brake flange, it does fit the 5 bolt brake flange configuration. But that should do it for the review on part number K2R. 712 DAC, the Kodiak disc brake kit with the 13 inch rotor, the 8 on 6.5 inch bolt pattern, and the Dacromet finish.